Yo, today we're gonna look at top 5 mistakes that new players make in drifting games. And new players, in other words noobs, is not a bad thing in any way. Everyone starts as a noob, it's just part of the process and hopefully this video will help some of you. Okay, let's start with the list. Number 1 Style over speed New players tend to use the grippiest setups. Why is this bad? Well that's because they tend to accidentally ram into players in front. Faster is not better, it's not a race. Drifting and grip racing, two different things, alright? Use the default grip level in the game, don't use too big tires on your cars. It's also easier to start learning how to drift at slower speeds so you have more reaction time. Using a too grippy car makes it difficult for you to tandem with other players. Number 2 The Styling Oh god, the styling. You're having a nice clean car mate, right? And then you see this dude. And for some reason it's always the Supra, I don't know why. Max camber, weird tinted windows, horrible wheel fitment, and 69 written all over the car. A bit too much, right? Don't slap on all the random stickers you see in the game. And for the love of god, stop using colored smoke. It's horrible for the players behind you. All they see is this Hello Kitty cloud in front. Just go easy on the styling, alright? Number 3 Fast Money New players are obsessed with getting money and all the cars as soon as possible. Listen, unlocking cars and upgrades is part of the gameplay, part of the fun. Enjoy the journey. This applies in every game. As soon as you unlock everything in the game or complete the game, some of the excitement you had fades away. Some will go as far as to use money glitches or hacks which can get them banned as well and you don't want that. Getting a new car is part of the fun, no need to unlock all the cars on your first day. It feels good to be able to unlock a new car after some time of playing and it will keep the game entertaining longer. Number 4 Causing accidents. Drifting the wrong way and overall causing unnecessary accidents. Go the same direction everyone else is going. Do not go drifting the opposite way. When you go on a track, make sure nobody is coming from behind. Follow the other players at a safe distance. Don't try to tandem everyone on your first day. You're not gonna be mad Mike on your first couple of days playing the game, okay? And reset your car to avoid crashes with other players. You're gonna crash a lot at first. Make sure you find out which button resets your car so you don't ruin the drifts for everybody else behind you. Respect other players. Good way to improve is to start with single player. Practice is the key. If you feel confident enough, you can ask other players to do practice tandems with you. This way you can both learn at the same time. Number 5 Automatic transmission. It's understandable that automatic transmission seems easier and very tempting at first, but it's just so much harder to relearn to use manual transmission later on. A manual transmission allows you to control your car so much more accurately. You don't want your car shifting when it's not needed. You can use manual shifting with keyboard, controller, and with a steering wheel. Either way, start manual shifting early on. It may seem difficult, but trust me, it's gonna be way harder going from automatic to manual later on. Number 6 Not subscribing to Goosiest Ok, I'm just kidding, but you should subscribe if you like dope drifting content. And by the way, I stream drifting games on Twitch, so make sure you check me out there as well. Alright guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video, and see you again soon. Stay sideways.